The Dockers produced one of the great finals comebacks on Saturday night, surging into a semi-final against Collingwood. Justin Longmuir joins me now. Justin, what a night. How do you explain what happened at Optus Stadium? All right, which part are you talking about? I suppose <laughs> uh, the first 40 minutes of the game was yeah, pretty ordinary by us. Um, yeah, we didn't get our contest right and execution was poor, I think. Um, you know, we scored three points with our first six shots on goal, which explains how our execution let us down. So um, the thing that probably hasn't been talked about is the wind was favouring Western Bulldogs' end in that first quarter. It was probably about a three-goal um, breeze. So we had that in the second quarter, and hence we played the game in our front half and started to get on top late in that second quarter. And, um, yeah, the players gained a lot of confidence from that, and um, that, that carried on to the second half. How does a comeback like that occur, a complete change of control? What did you say at the quarter-time huddle to the guys? Uh, quarter-time was mainly based around our contest. Uh, I thought the coaches thought that we were trying to handball through their pressure and over-handballing, which fueled their pressure. Um, and uh, my main message was minute by minute. Like, uh, you know, you can't really um, pull back five goals in one quarter. So you've got to do a little bit at a time and you've got to stay really present and, and on task. And... I was really proud of the way our players remained connected and remained present and remained, remained really focused on what they needed to do next and didn't get too far ahead of themselves or, or wallow in what had happened. So it was a really mature performance. Now, obviously, you need to move on pretty quickly. Can we start with Nat Five? Has he been ruled out for this week? And if so, when could we see him back if you keep going in the season? Uh, he'll be unlikely this week. Um, yes, yeah, so I can rule that out. Um, next week's um, a slight possibility and, and the week after, um, he'd be a real chance. So he's progressing well in his rehab. Um, yeah, he's been a really great benefit around the group and it remains really positive. So, yeah, hopefully we see him back in a couple of weeks. So you say unlikely for this week, 0% chance? Zero. OK, just to clear that up. Matt Taverner, he went OK in the WAFL, but Jai Amos certainly did his job against the Dogs. Will he hold his spot? Uh, yeah, I think Jai um, will hold his spot. You know, I was really pleased with the way he came in and gave us exactly what we were after, to be honest. Um, yeah, hit the scoreboard and, and his leading patterns are really strong and his contest was really strong. So, yeah, I was really happy with his performance. Um, and as for Tabs, yeah, he um, made a good step forward on the weekend um, at Waffle level. After a win like that, do you see many changes or is the team settled and you reward the effort? Uh, probably lean towards rewarding the effort, to be honest, Ryan. Yeah, it was a, it was a really solid performance after quarter time. And, um, yeah, most players um, executed their role really well, so um, I wouldn't forecast too many changes. The Collingwood Army will be in full voice at the MCG on Saturday. 90,000 are expected. How important will it be to start strong and silence that crowd? I'll be... Important to start strongly, um, no matter the situation, no matter the crowd. Um, we definitely don't want to start like we have the last couple of weeks, so it'll be a big focus. Um, and we're looking forward to the experience. Um, these are, these are um, money-can't-buy opportunities for our players to play in such a hostile environment, so we're really looking forward to it. Those starts do at least provide a dramatic comeback, mate. The Pies at the MCG, Saturday night, all on the line once again. Justin, good luck. Thanks, Ryan.